have you ever had a crush on one of your boy besties? If I was a boy for a day, what would I do? I would have a- This is a really, really embarrassing story. What is your bra size? If it hurts, you're probably doing something a little bit wrong. It's Ellie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am really, really excited for today's video, but OMG, I'm like uncomfortable and nervous. Today, I'm going to be answering your guys' awkward slash uncomfortable questions. Kind of looking forward to it, kind of absolutely dreading it, but I mean, I guess we're just going to have to see how it goes. I asked you for these questions over on Instagram, so if you want to be involved next time I make a video like this, then make sure you're following me on Instagram. My Instagram is at ells.exo, and it's also linked in the description box below with my other social medias. Make sure you give this video a great big thumbs up, and without any further ado, let's get into some of the questions. I'm going to be answering these questions anonymously because some asked to be anonymous and some just didn't mind, but for safety and just, you know, be on the safe side, these are all going to be anonymous because some of them are quite embarrassing. So let's get on with some questions. The first question is, have you ever had a crush on one of your boy besties? Yes. <laughs> yes, I definitely have. Mainly in like year 10 or 11 because then I didn't have that many friends that were boys. So I would like hang out with them a bit and then get a little bit of a crush on them and then like eventually get over it. I've never had like an absolutely huge crush on them, but I've definitely fancied some boys I've been friends with in the past. Not really now though, just in the past. Next question. If I was a boy for a day, what would I do? I like this question. And I would have a stand-up wee. Like, I'm sorry, but how cool is it? Boys can have a stand-up wee. Like, I don't know if this is just me, but like, girls, I'm sure we can relate on this. When you go to like a shopping centre or like a restaurant or something that's not too nice, and you go into the bathroom and the seat's like a bit gross, like you're like, oof, I've got to try and hover, and you have to try and like awkwardly like to try and have a wee. Boys don't have to do that. They can just stand up and just be like, wee. Anyway, next question. If you could have kids right now, would you? Um, no, I wouldn't. Basically, I do really want kids one day, but not right now. I want kids in like 10 years. I want to have my first baby when I'm 28 and I'm 18 now. So 10 years actually feels like a long time, but I think I could wait that long. And then I do want to have like two kids at least, but for now, definitely not. Just because I'm going to university and there's a lot I want to do before I have kids. Like I want to travel a bit and I also want to be married. So there's a point. I'm not saying that like teenage mums are terrible or like the 18 year old mums aren't good mums because I'm sure they are, but I personally would not be able to do that much like good mothering at this age. I'm not even responsible enough to look after myself. Never mind babies. What is your most awkward fall? This is a really, really embarrassing story. Like I'm actually, it makes me so embarrassed. So me and my friends were going to a like bar. It's like, it's a bar, but it's a little bit more like a club near where I live. We were outside queuing up and basically it's kind of known to be a little bit like, not really sexist, but like they let in the girls and not the boys, which is, doesn't really make sense. But basically there was a big queue of boys waiting and the bouncers were like, you guys may as well just go home, you're not gonna get in for hours, blah, blah, blah. And so we turn up and we're like, oh, is there a queue? And the bouncer's like, oh, no. Go through, have a good night girls. And we walked through and I don't know why, I had this urge to just be like sassy. And I turned around and I was like, so you're gonna let the girls in, but not the guys. <laughs> turned around, fell over. Like I didn't actually fall on the floor, but I tripped on like the barrier and I was like, <gasps> and then I looked back and the bouncer was like, yeah, just go in. And I was like, okay. It doesn't sound as embarrassing as it was, but it was really embarrassing. And all these big queue of boys saw that happen. The next question is, what is your bra size? I actually got asked this by quite a lot of people. So my bra size is like a 32C. Or like I can fit a 30C, like 30 or 32C. Some places I can fit into a D, like Victoria's Secret make their bras quite small, I think. But yeah, I don't know why. I feel like my boobs aren't that small, but they look small. I, yeah, insecurities in it, bruv. Just kidding. I'd rather have a big bum. But you know, a gal can dream. <laughs> the next question is, do tampons hurt? I'm terrified to use one. And it's completely normal to be like scared and like uncomfortable the first time you use a tampon. It shouldn't really hurt because if it hurts, you're probably doing something a little bit wrong, which I mean, you can't really go too wrong, but like if it hurts, especially if it hurts a lot, you're definitely 
aim in the wrong direction or something like that so no it shouldn't hurt and once you've done it a couple of times it won't even feel uncomfortable it will just happen you know the next question is when was your first kiss my first kiss was when I was 16 and I have a whole story time on that so if you want to watch that go watch it after this video the next uncomfortable question is do you wear thongs and yes I do wear thongs but the only reason is they're so comfy i feel like you're either one way or the other you love them or you hate them so many people hate them but for me i think it's just comfy it just feels like you're not wearing any pants and it's like it's just comfortable really but it's totally just preference it's whatever you find comfy i think what age did your mum start to buy you crop tops or bras okay so I was kind of a late bloomer, I'm gonna say that. Like, I didn't really need a bra until I was like year nine or maybe even year 10. But I think I got my first crop top in like year five, just because I really wanted one. You know when you're little, you have like the next catalogue? I don't know if anyone has the next catalogue, but I always used to get the next catalogue when my mum did. And I would go through and be like, Mum, I want one of these. And it was like the little crop tops in the like kids underwear section. So I did have those or like I'd wear a vest. They're basically the same. But I didn't get like a real bra until I was like, what, 12 or 13. And going to be honest, that was only because I really wanted one. I didn't need one at all. I did not have boobies. But yeah, I guess I was probably like end of year seven or year eight when I got a proper bra. Have you ever farted in public and blamed it on someone else? Definitely. I'm just gonna leave that there, but yes. Or blamed it on a chair, like been like, oh, that was the chair squeaking when really it was. Next question. Do you ever get jealous about other girls' or body shapes or style? Yes, definitely. Honestly, there's so many people, especially on TikTok, like why is everyone so gorgeous on the app? I'm definitely a little bit jealous. I feel like I always get a little bit jealous. I'm never like fuming, like raging jealousy, but I do get a bit like, oh, kind of wish I could look like that. Because I'm kind of like a ruler, you know? I'm just like, pew. I realized that the other day, someone direct messaged me on Instagram and they were like really insecure and they were telling me about how they feel like bad in their body and like blah, blah, blah. And all I wanted to tell them was like, no, you're beautiful. You're absolutely beautiful and you don't need to change. You don't need to look like anyone else. You're perfect the way you are. And then I realized like, I should tell myself that sometimes. <laughs> Next question. How to make your boobs grow bigger? I don't have an answer for this. I don't think there is an answer for this. I mean, okay, when I was younger, when I was like 12, 13 and I really wanted boobies, me and my friends would be like, how do you get big boobs? And all my friends used to say, if you sleep on your back, your boobs grow in the night. I don't think that is a fact. Definitely not. The next question is, do you have any embarrassing stories about having a period malfunction in public? Oh yes, I do. So this was in year 11 and I was in English class and I sat right at the front and I was on my period and I had a pad on and like, I think I had a pad and a tampon, but yeah. And it was the end of the lesson and girls, if you have your period, you'll probably relate to this. When you stand up from a chair and you're on your period, you always look like you always just check the chair like, oh God, there's nothing there, thank God. But this one time I checked my chair and I was like, Ooh, Oh, no, 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 no. And so basically what I did was I realized I'd had a bit of a malfunction and luckily I don't think it was really on my skirt. So I just went straight to the toilet and like sorted it out and then went to my next lesson because this was like as lessons were changing over. And I realized I never told the teacher because I, you know, it was embarrassing and it was the end of the lesson. So I could just get away with pushing my chair in and going. But there was a class going into that classroom. So whoever sat in my seat would have looked and been like, uh, miss. And that's just a really uncomfortable thought to think about, you know? But at the end of the day, I probably should have just been like, miss, look, I've had a bit of an act. Cause I'm sure the teacher would have been really, really nice about it, but I was shy. <laughs> We're embarrassed, really. How many digits in your bank account? This is definitely an awkward question, but all I'm gonna say is yesterday I went to McDonald's and I ordered 20 pounds worth of food and then realized I had six pounds on my car. Six pounds. I was like this. Oh, it, uh, one second. But luckily I found some cash in my car so I was all Gucci. Imagine if I didn't get my nuggets. The next question is when did you have the talk with your parents if you ever had the talk? And I think I had it when I was in like year three or four. I know I was quite young but it was because my sister is four years older than me and she was like being taught it at school and stuff and I like overheard things and I would like blurt stuff out or like just randomly say stuff and so my parents or well, my mum decided you know we'll just give her the talk now and I think I was quite mature for like an eight-year-old or however old I was so I like 
took it all in and I was like, yep, okay. But my mum also decided to tell me because I was like young about like puberty because my mum and my sister and everyone else in my family started their puberty really young. So my mum told me when I was like eight thinking like, you know, she might get her period when she was like nine. So we've got to tell her now. But you know what? I didn't until I was nearly 16 and that is okay. <laughs> Next question. Was it awkward when you were on the SAK channels and in school? And yes, a little bit. I would just always get asked questions about it. Sometimes I didn't want to answer those questions. Sometimes they were like, awkward sometimes people would like i never okay i never got bullied but people would like make little dicks or like make comments and people still make comments about youtube and it really grinds my gears i went to a lake the other day with my friends and i was walking one way and this group of girls who were not social distancing walked the other way and they literally got like a centimeter past me and were like isn't that that girl from youtube yeah that's the girl with the youtube channel i really i didn't i didn't recognize that was her let me have a look and like turned around and stared at me and like, i like turned around and i was like because i was just uncomfortable like why would you do that why are you trying to make me uncomfortable do you realize you're a horrible person enough said that was heated <laughs> anyway the next question is do you hate the creator of the sak channels <laughs> Yes, next question. This is actually the final question and it is, what is your kiss count? I didn't even realize kiss count was a thing until recently, but I think I can count my kisses. So, one, two, three, four, and then, I wanna say between eight and 10. That's my guess, I don't know exactly. And I'm not counting like spin the bottle. When I was in college, spin the bottle was like the favorite game and you kiss everyone in spin the bottle, but you don't properly kiss, it's like this. So it's not really a kiss, you know? Anyway guys, so that was all of the uncomfortable and awkward questions I'm gonna be answering in this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up if you've not already and let's get this video to 3,500 thumbs up that is the like goal for this video. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach 500K by the end of the year, so it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe and turn on notifications. And also, if you really want to be my favorite person in the world, then you could share this video with a friend who you think might enjoy it, and maybe they could subscribe too. Stay up to date by following me on all of my social media, which will be linked in the description box below. And the only thing I have left to say is I love you a lotty, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!